Yeah, we'll get back to you on that, Tyree D. Um, Eric Rowley, what's up, guys? You're doing a great job. Lonzo, who is the greatest technical DJ out of the old school West Coast? I think Joe Cooley is the baddest technician from back in the day. What say you, Lonzo? Joe Cooley was a monster. Um, what's the other brother name out of Compton? Damn it, his, his manager called me the other day. Uh, damn, uh, I let DJ Aladdin was a beast, okay? Mm. Well, but the baddest some bitch I ever seen in my life, okay? He wasn't black, one of the baddest dudes I've ever seen on the center turntable to do more with a, tele, a, a turntable than a monkey can with a banana at DJ Rectangle. I worked with DJ. Ah. Worked with DJ Rec- Tell us about DJ Rectangle. DJ Rectangle was out of Oceanside. I met him through a friend of mine named uh, Trick. Uh, DJ Rectangle would come to my house every Sunday, every Sunday, for months just to sit down and talk to me about different things he was trying to do mix wise. And um, his first two mixes, he sold them to me for like 150 bucks. Okay. And uh, they sold them. Some bitches sold. They sold for years, literally. And um, he eventually started doing his own thing, but he's also in, uh, he, he's a DJ in Vegas right now. I think last time I talked to him, he was working at the, uh, he was spinning at the uh, Caesar's Palace, okay? Um, nice. He and I, he got, a, he got an audition one time to go to, uh, um, he got an audition to go to, do a Pepsi commercial. I took him to the audition. I repped him as, a, as his manager. And when he got through with that, doing this audition, everybody, the cameraman, makeup person, the uh, casting director, sitting there going, because he had his partner, not only was he mixing, he had his partner hold a turntable and move it around and put it over his head. And homeboy was still doing this thing but the records over dude it was awesome okay and dude it was it was this is some this is some super shit okay he's fast he's precise and he does a lot of tricks all the leg stuff the behind the back all that stuff right there that's easy but he, when the turntable is moving and you still got the mix you can't look at it you can't look at it. you can't see the record he's still doing his thing um and the only reason why he didn't get the job lady says Lonzo uh her name is Robbie Reed She's a big time. Uh, she's a big time casting director. If you look at a lot of your black movies, you will see her name at the back at the end. She's married now, so it might be Robbie Reed something else. She says, "I would love to cast this guy. We got one problem." I said, "What? He's white, okay?" And they was casting for. He was trying to appeal to a black crowd through Coca- with Coca Cola, okay. And that's the only way he didn't get the gig, okay. He left everybody in total. Wow. Uh, he got through that damn thing, man. I mean, he did shit I had never seen him do before. Okay. Uh, yes. DJ Rectangle is in Vegas. I talked to him a few months ago. Wow. He had a couple of health issues. I'm, I see he's on Tony A's show. Anybody else podcast, I'd be pissed off. He's supposed to be doing mine a while ago. But yeah, uh, Tony, Tony A is in the loop, so it's all good. But yeah, uh, Rectangle was he. I, th- I think he eventually ended up winning the mm-hmm. uh, the uh, championship championship in um, in New York when they were having the uh, tur- the turntable contest back in the day. He, I know uh, Aladdin won. I know um, mm. the rep- Rectangle won. I think it was ninety eight or something like that back in the nineties. Yeah, he was a beast, dude. He was a beast. Battlecast, awesome now. Nice. We, we talking about before you got. Oh, I got to check that Tony A. Before controllers, this, we're talking about uh, before controllers and sampling and stuff. We're talking about the straight turntables. He was, he's, he was, he'd be hard to beat. I don't know what he's like right now with with, with a sampler and, and uh, controllers and all that hot cues or whatever. I have no idea. I haven't seen him in a while, but I would think he would be awesome. Damn, dude, I love hearing this stuff. Check out that Tony A interview. And uh, Crypto Charles says, NorCal has some fire turntablists. Uh, comment down below, Crypto Charles. Who are some names I could look up? Because I like going down those rabbit holes. Art Chavez has a good question. He says, Lonzo and Dusty, who was the first West Coast artist, rapper, and slash rapper to collaborate on a famous song? Only one that comes to my mind is Melly Mel and Shaka Khan, but that's East Coast. East Coast. 
Is he asking the first West Coast rapper to collaborate with a big artist? Oh, man. That's a good question, dude. Because we didn't collaborate with nobody. Um, that wasn't a popular thing for us back in the day. I'm trying to think myself. Mm-mm. I can't think of nobody offhand. Yeah, that's a great question, man. You got me over here thinking. Yeah, I can't think of nobody offhand that ever did that. It wasn't us, Egypt, uh, L.A. Dream Team. Uh, nah, man, that's a, that's a good one, dude. I, can, I I like to know who, who the first one was and what year it was. Maybe um, somebody said maybe Tone Loke. Mac Turtle says Tone Loke, but I don't know. Who, who, I think that was just a sample, though, right? That wasn't really a collaboration. Who, who was the, who was the artist? Are we talking? About- yeah, who's the artist? Because the only songs I could think of was uh, um, like the ones that he sampled, like um, you know the big, the two big songs that that he has. I can't think of off the top of my head, but those were just samples. Bump, bump, wow, thing. Like right. that wasn't really a collaboration, right? No, that was just a sample. a sample. But Snoop and the dramatics, that, that yeah, I don't know. That's, that's a great. That's a he damn, dumped us. That's a damn good try. Snoop and the dramatics. That that that's you know, okay. That's I'm a good the guess. First one, but it's damn sure one of the good ones. It's damn sure one of the good ones. It might not be the first one. Yeah, good job. Yeah, yeah. You... Shit. Man, okay, that, yeah, 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 shit. I'm gonna have to come back, come back on that one next week, man. That's a good question. Thank you for stumping us. I appreciate to, you stumping us. I love when I get stumped because then I gotta go do my research. I'm gonna have to give me a Jeopardy uh, sample on my on my machine over here. That's a Jeopardy question right there. Too short and Gerald I, Burt, the ghetto. Yep, I have one. Uh, yep, I'm on. Too short. Cameron oh wait, Michael Eric. talking about the ghetto. Was Gerald Levert on the um? Short on that, song? that was Gerald the Vert singing the ghetto. I didn't know that. Uh, huh. interesting. I'm gonna look down. There. It's one of my favorite songs. Um, damn, all right, yeah, you got this, man. All right, um, 